Hey guys, in this video I want to go over the wedge tool and when to use it. I have a, a cylinder that, that's pretty complicated and what I want to do with the cylinder is change the number of axis divisions. So when you make a cylinder or a sphere, uh, you can change the axis division in the initial inputs like this. Uh, but as soon as you add some, some edge loops this way and then if you go back and try to add uh, axis divisions, you can see it breaks. So how do we uh, change these divisions after the fact? So for this, we can use the wedge tool. And the way I use this is like this. First, I'm gonna select faces. And I'm gonna select a half and delete. And the next part is a little weird. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the edges here like this, just on one side, right? So I just wanna select one quarter, uh, basically the radius edges. And then I'm gonna extrude them, press W, make sure uh, keep spacing is off so if you hold control shift and right click you can turn off keep spacing and world is on then i'm going to hold uh, v pre-select the this direction and snap it into the center so what you're getting is this then i can click here and then shift double click a face next to it this will select all of the faces in the middle and then uh, we want to be able to select um, also the edge in the middle so i'm going to right click switch it to multi and then shift select one of the edges in the middle basically this will be an edge loop that we're going to rotate around so now if i go into uh, the wedge tool so i added my, uh, the wedge tool here to the my custom shelf if i click it you get this right and now what you can do is change the angle here and you can also change divisions so I would keep it uh, something that's uh, even, right? You want an even number in here. And you also wanna make sure that this this uh, edge here in the middle, is for, uh, there's always an edge at 45 degrees. That will let you quad this easy next time. So once you're happy with it, you can select the faces inside like this. Shift select the rest, delete. And then we can just duplicate uh hold j and then rotate and then shift d shift d it'll duplicate this out and then we can just combine merge and soften edge like that and that's it now we have a lot more divisions and same shape hope you guys like this video please subscribe and like and we'll see you guys next time